We start the news at 5.30 with an update to a story we first told you about on WSA9.com. Okay, D.C. Public Schools is launching an investigation into how the school district handled the child with autism who was stuck on a school bus for four hours. Now, we've been pushing for answers on this story since Saturday. And tonight, WSA9's Michael Quander just got a response from the city office in charge of those school buses. And here's what they had to say. Traffic. That's the reason the Office of the State Superintendent of Education, or Aussie, told us this eight-year-old with autism sat on a school bus for four hours Friday. Pissed is an understatement yes. for this. Teresa Holloway reached out to WUSA 9 on Saturday after she says the city gave her the runaround about where her grandson, Kevin Echo, was. Holloway said Lindley Elementary School couldn't tell her anything, and Aussie says it kept the family updated, but according to Holloway, they kept switching up their story. Miss Holloway, it was an incident on Kevin's bus. Miss Holloway, I'm sorry, Kevin's bus is on 50. Kevin's still at school. Eventually, police found this report saying Kevin was put on the wrong bus. Right away, we sent emails and made phone calls pushing the city for answers about what happened to Kevin. Yeah, well, his grandmother wants some answers. A DCPS spokesperson finally responded two days later on Monday, Veterans Day, saying that Kevin was actually put on the right bus and their staff helped the family sort things out. DCPS says the superintendent's office oversees school buses, not them. And a DCPS spokesperson first told us Aussie combined bus routes on Friday. That would have meant more kids on one bus with a lot more stops all over the city. But today, the superintendent's office contradicted that, saying that the bus lines were never merged and the four-hour ride was all due to bad traffic. Had they communicated that with us, I would have picked Kevin up. That's what I said to them. A spokesperson with the superintendent's office sent us this statement late this afternoon, saying that because of heavy traffic, the assigned bus picked up the child from school later than scheduled and experienced further delays along the route. That resulted in a drop-off time at the child's home that was later than expected. I can't send him back there. Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Again, the school district is looking into how it handled the situation, and both agencies involved are working with the family on a resolution. Holloway is looking for a new school for Kevin and says she's not going to let him ride the bus anymore.